day to everyone joining us here this morning. And as we come now to the 9 o'clock hour, we pause in prayer for those who are suffering with COVID-19, most especially in our local communities and amongst our family and friends. Continue in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Friends gathered today in prayer in this moment of prayer as we prepare to celebrate this liturgy. We come together in God's grace also today celebrating the memorial of St. Bonaventure great uh, Franciscan of the Middle Ages who uh, wrote many great works of philosophy and theology um, and, uh, and, and so demonstrated uh, the wisdom, the wisdom of God's Holy Spirit in our midst. And so as we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we pause for a moment mindful of the great gift of God's mercy and his peace in our lives. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. And let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that just as we celebrate the heavenly birthday of the Bishop St. Bonaventure, we may benefit from his great learning and constantly imitate the ardor of his charity. And through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Woe to Assyria, my rod in anger, my staff in wrath. Against an impious nation I send him, and against a people under my wrath I order him to seize plunder, carry off loot, and tread them down like the mud of the streets. But this is not what he intends, nor does he have this in mind. Rather, it is in his heart to destroy, to make an end of nations, not a few. For he says, By my own power I have done it, and by my wisdom, for I am shrewd. I have moved the boundaries of peoples, their treasures I have pillaged, and like a giant I have put down the enthroned. My hand has seized like a nest the riches of nations. As one takes eggs left alone, so I took in all the earth. No one fluttered a wing or opened a mouth or chirped. Will the axe boast against him who hews with it? Will the saw exalt itself above him who wields it? As if a rod could sway him who lifts it, or a staff him who is not wood. Therefore the Lord, the Lord of hosts, will send among his fat ones leanness, and instead of his glory there will be kindling like the kindling of fire. The Word of the Lord. The Lord will not abandon his people. The Lord will not abandon his people. Your people, O oh Lord, they trample down, your inheritance they afflict. Widow and stranger they slay, the fatherless they murder. The Lord will not abandon his people. And they say, the Lord sees not, the God of Jacob perceives not. Understand, you senseless ones among the people and you fools, when will you be wise? 
The Lord will not abandon his people. Shall he who shaped the ear not hear? Or he who formed the eye not see? Shall he who instructs nations not chastise? He who teaches men knowledge? The Lord will not abandon his people. For the Lord will not cast off his people, nor abandon his inheritance. But judgment shall again be with justice, and all the upright of heart shall follow it. The Lord will not abandon his people. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to the little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, it's today that we hear once more these words from Matthew's Gospel that we heard, I believe it was about two weeks ago, at uh, the Sunday liturgy at the weekend Mass, these beautiful words of Jesus in this moment of prayer to the Father, giving, giving thanks and praise to God the Father for what has been revealed, what has been communicated through the very gift of Jesus himself, through the gift of God's Son to the world. And it's so beautiful because it's, it's touching and it's moving to, uh, to, to hear that and to know that Jesus has indeed revealed these things to, to the humble, to, to the childlike, to those who are receptive and open, to, to, to persons, to disciples like you and me, as we are open and willing and receptive to what it is that God wants to, to speak to us, to teach to us, to work within us each and every day. A, a beautiful and touching passage, no doubt, and even more going on to to speak about the, 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 the very Trinity itself, God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And yet, perhaps we also hear this, perhaps particularly this word of, of being childlike, that it might, we might come back and say, well, Jesus, you know, maybe what, what is it that you are, you know, advocating here? You know, you know in, in, in the world that we, that we live in, oftentimes it, it doesn't pay to be childlike. It might be a... a a virtue and a disposition that can that can easily uh, that can easily get us uh, thrown off our guard. That can be seen as 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 weak and immature and um, and, and is not a fully a fully adult like, if you will. But I think what we see Jesus is is truly speaking to us here is this 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 receptivity, this openness. That I think at the end of the day, we know we need this quality. This is the quality that you and I need to, to, to be open to, to Christ because we know many times we don't want to demonstrate that openness. We're, we're pulled in this or that direction. We're, we're, we're fighting the, the interior battle, whatever that might be, the interior battle of, of, of depression, of, of anxiety, of, of, of struggling in a relationship, whatever it might be. We're... we're, we're we're, we're closed-minded oftentimes, even not even realizing it, not even realizing that we've, we've kind of subconsciously perhaps shut ourselves off to, to God's goodness, to God's grace, to, to what it is that God is speaking to us in the many, many different ways 
that he does that in our lives, that he can do that in our lives. So quite simply today, might, might we embrace once more, we come once more to this, this necessity of, of being open, of being humble, of being receptive of, of soul and mind before the Lord, before Jesus who walks with us, who accompanies us, and who, as we hear in this psalm, never abandons his people, never abandons us, and never ceases to reveal himself to you and me. childlike trust, let us gather our needs and those of our community and bring them to our loving Father. For all missionaries of the gospel around the world, that God may bless them and protect them in their ministry, let us pray to the Lord. For the whole world, may God's gracious mercy deliver his people from sin and death, let us pray to the Lord. For all those who are struggling with habitual sin, may the Holy Spirit strengthen them and help them turn away from sin and turn towards God's great mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who may be traveling or vacationing, especially in these summer months, that God may grant them safety and a joyful time of rest. Let us pray to the Lord. For all the faithful departed, especially those known only to our Lord, may Christ greet them at the gates of the heavenly Jerusalem. Let us pray to the Lord. For Victor Gigante, the special intention of this Mass, we pray to the Lord. For all those prayers and desires and needs that we now open our hearts to the Lord in humble petition in the silence of this moment, bringing those petitions to him now. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Lord of heaven and earth, we give praise to you this day and always. Please look now with kindness upon these prayers that we bring before you today in the name of your Son, Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer you. Fruit to the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father.
Look with favor, O Lord, we pray, and the offerings we set upon this sacred altar on the Feast of Blessed Bonaventure, that bestowing on us your pardon, our oblations may give honor to your name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Bonaventure, you bid your church rejoice, so to you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. So with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and Profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Bonaventure and Saint John the Evangelist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace, unity, in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And now, as we, wherever we are at, let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. God, the only one who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Now, bring our hearts and minds together in the Lord in this prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. Embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. And let us pray. Renewed by the sacred mysteries, we humbly pray, O Lord, that following the example of blessed Bonaventure, we may strive to profess what he believed and to practice what he taught. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you this day, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. 
Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. Have a safe and blessed day this Wednesday day. Take care.